Okay, if you go to some kind of a mall and look around, you will literally see a bubble tea store. By the amazing advertisement and its legitimate looks, you will certainly check the prices that they offer, and you will realize that it is all over $5. And in that moment, you wonder why are the bubble teas all so expensive. This video has an answer to that question. So, what is bubble tea in a bubble tea made of? I mean, what is a bubble in a bubble tea made of? Yes, it is usually made up of a tapioca pearls that are fairly expensive. Really, it is quite expensive. When you go to Asi Asian marts, especially the Chinese one, you'll find tapioca pearls that cost around $8 per kilo. This is because tapioca pearls are made of cassava roots. And it is fairly hard to find cassava roots in the wild, and it is harder to raise them in a farm. Also, imagine the labor that is put in to those things. The labor itself, it costs a lot. And since most of the tapioca pros are not, vert are not vertified by the Food Alliance, they cannot buy pearls from some illegal dealers who offer pearls in a cheap prices because they use children to do it. If you acquire those cassava roots from somewhere, and if you try to build a factory, the factory itself it costs you a few million dollars, even though you place it right in front of the jungle. The reason for that is, you need boiling, condensing, seasoning, and packaging machines right in one factory. Otherwise, there would be no profit at all. And since, unlike normal factories, where, where different manufacturers gathers, gathers their product together to make a completed product, they need to make a big and state-of-the-art factory that boils, condenses, seasons, and packages in a really fast manner. The machine itself would be a problem to acquire as, the, as, as well. Even though you might you you get you get the you get those machines, the challenges remains. You need to find the perfect recipe with your own experience to make the finest texture of tapioca pearls that you can make. Otherwise, you'd be left out in the competition. And to find the finest texture, you need to try every combination of vast majority of seasoning. If you cannot afford to do, to do those experiments, you need to acquire a recipe from a bigger company, and and this will drain profits, out, out now this will drain profit out of you as normally. Those big companies takes a lot of portions from it. Also, if you do not know the difference between good and bad tapioca pearls, first eat some from franchise company like Share Tea or Cha Time, and compare it to tapioca pearls that you have that you have made. So there would be a lot of difference. By researching some of the intakes of tapioca pearls from a well-known bubble tea store like Cha Time or Share Tea, they usually buy those pearls four to five dollars a kilo, which you can which you can make around six to seven serves out of it. Let's start the calculation. So the manufacturing cost is estimated zero point eight dollars just for tapioca pearls. Now let's look at what really makes bubble tea a tea. The tea. So in this case, a vast majority of premium milk tea, you need a black tea mixed with milk and sugar mixed with salt. You put those in a separate containing containing tool and control the sugar level. Black tea generally costs quite less than the other, so I would give the manufacturing cost of it as zero point one dollars. Milk was zero point five dollars. Sugar and salt was zero point three dollars together, and together we have. 0.9 dollars plus 0.8 dollars, which is 1.7 dollars. Straws and cups cost is around 0.3 dollars. So let's stick with that. It is two dollars just to make the tea itself. And regarding the payments of part-time workers and rent fees and other necessary bills that need to be made when making when making the bubble tea, the company will get less than a dollar of every single tea that have jet that they have generally made. Otherwise, no profit at all. So that is why bubble teas are so expensive. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and put thumbs up to it. Thank you for watching.